Africa and we thank you so much for joining us. I'd like to introduce to you Prof Barry and Prof Anderson, a little bit older professor than you. That's fascinating. So Chaba, what do you hear? Thank you very much Prof Anderson as well as Prof Barry. What I'm hearing is that we need to be more human than we are now going forward if we are to embrace what's to emerge for the benefit of humanity and society and perhaps the universe. Any questions to Prof. Barry? No question yet. Okay. So if you had to think outside of the box for that matter and tell a youngster in either developed or the developing world, what, what would be the things that you wish they could consider to get to this state that you're talking and I'm talking about, where there should be a more awareness, the consciousness is a very powerful yet neglected construct. But what would be some ideas that you may have, but you could also decide to be more private on that and at least say, what could people consider to become more aware of this dance between algorithms and algorithms in the serving of society. I feel like the more important thing is, uh, is that consciousness is really an outgrowth or will be an outgrowth. It will be like, I think, a breakaway of main, uh, mainly technological development. I think that consciousness will be the product of technological development. So I think that we need to make people more aware that technological development in general isn't going to kill us or uh, we shouldn't stigmatize that kind of thing or make it seem like technological advancement is bad. <clears throat> and we also have our students nowadays in schools really disencouraged from science. We, uh, I feel like in schools, we discriminate science. We teach all other subjects perfectly, but math and science, we just don't teach it well because we just throw equations at people's face without uh, uh, telling them what they mean or giving them a demonstration. And that's um, uh, mostly either because the school doesn't have enough funding, which the, the U.S. Is it hasn't been working on, definitely hasn't been working on, or the thing is they just won't give our students an understanding of technology. They're not willing to. And that's what, uh, that, that, I feel, what's keeping us back from moving forward with this kind of technology. I feel like we have to encourage our students that math and science is not boring, but another kind of art. It's, and math and science is the thing that will help us advance, not the thing that you need to memorize for your test to, so you can get a 105 and not cry to your mom when you get home. <laughs> <laughs>